Welcome to the another segment of this video in which we are going to discuss the effects of rotation and revolution. So rotation means the spinning of the earth on its own axis. And the another motion is the revolution in which the earth goes around the sun in a fixed elliptical path which is termed as orbit. Now uh, we'll discuss the effect of rotation first. As you can see, I have uh, jotted down some of the uh, points that we are going to discuss. Uh, first, the cause of day and night. As the earth rotates and the side which face towards the sun will have day and the side which is away from the sun will have night. So the line which you can see which is uh, separating the day and the night half is known as circle of illumination. Now, now look at the picture carefully. This is showing us the circle of illumination or the dun or the dusk time. So dun means the time of sunrise and dusk means the time of sunset. And when Africa is having dawn or the sunrise, at the same time, somewhere over the Pacific Ocean, the sun will be setting. And that time, India will be having its noon time, means sun will be overhead in Indian region. Deflection of winds and ocean currents. So it is caused due to the Coriolis effect and Coriolis effect is caused by the Coriolis force. Now Coriolis force is produced by the earth's rotation and it is uh, and it has its effect on every moving body whether it is a bullet fired from a gun or a wind or ocean. So as you can see in the diagram over there the wind is getting deflected towards the right in the northern hemisphere and towards the left in the southern hemisphere. Now we should remember one thing that the Coriolis force is nil in the equator and maximum towards the pole. Now this is because the rotational speed of the earth is maximum at the equator and it decreases towards the poles. Now the next topic we are going to discuss is the centrifugal force which is also generated by the rotational movement. Now what is centrifugal force? In a very simple term if you put it together like any uh, circular object, moving uh, object, uh, the force is generated from the center in an outward direction is known as centrifugal force. Now this is the reason the shape of the earth is not a perfect sphere, it is oblate spheroid means the bulge at the equator and flattened at the poles and, and which also makes the polar diameter smaller than the equatorial diameter. So here's a small illustration to prove that shape of the earth is affected by the centrifugal force. Now when the rotational speed increases, centrifugal force will also increase and you can see the equator is getting bulged and uh, the polar radius is getting shortened or the pole is also becoming flat. So the same thing happens on the earth also because of the centrifugal force the equator is the equatorial diameter is bigger and the polar diameter is smaller. So as the rotational speed become constant the shape will also become stable. So this way the centrifugal force affect the shape of the earth. Now the next topic is the apparent movement of the stars, moons and the sun. Now due to the rotation of the earth from west to east, the stars, moons appear to move from east to west. Now while traveling in a train, we feel that trees and the buildings are move, moving in opposite direction, but they are static they are constant in one place it is us who is moving ahead so it looks like they are moving in a opposite direction effect of revolution so the main effect of the earth's revolution is the change in season as we know the earth revolves around the sun which led to the uh, formation of seasons so it is not only the revolution it is also because of the earth's axis also 
the inclination of the earth axis cause the variation in the length of uh, days and night which affect which in turns affect the uh, changes in season now let us assume if the earth axis was uh, perpendicular then north and south would receive the equal amount of sun rays means equal day and night throughout the year so there would have been no change of season but the fact is not like that the earth axis is inclined as a result the variation occurs in the days and night uh, as well as the changes of season also occur now as you can see in the uh, video the earth revolves around the sun and does not remain static in one place and when the earth is in position a the north pole will be uh, facing towards the sun and the north the northern hemisphere receives the direct rays the southern hemisphere receives the indirect rays of the sun so it will have northern hemisphere will have longer days southern hemisphere will have shorter days and it will be summer in the north and winter in the south so the earth will not remain in the position a it will also revolve around and goes to the another position as you can see in the position b so it will be just opposite there because uh, the south will be having the direct rays and the north will be having or with northern hemisphere will be away from the sun so south will have longer days and north will have shorter days which makes winter in north and summer in the southern hemisphere now as the earth revolves around the sun there is a time when the 12 hours of day and night is absorbed in both the hemisphere that is called equinox and it happens when the sun rays falls directly on the equator so when the earth revolves around the sun you can see when it goes from position a to position b on 22nd september equator receives the direct rays of the sun so which will demarcate the equal day and night that is 12 hours of day and night in both the hemisphere it is known as autumnal equinox as the earth revolve again from position b to position a on 21st march again same thing happens that 12 hours of day and night is absorbed in both the hemisphere which is termed as spring equinox or vernal equinox so this variation as the earth revolves around the sun there is a variation is caused all over the latitudes different latitudes will have uh, different uh, like variation in the length of days and night as shown in the picture you can see that the march and september 23rd it absorbs equal day and night in both the hemisphere that is your equinox and on june 21st and december 22nd you can see that the variation in the length of days and night so thank you for watching and if this video was a little informative and helpful for you people and um, then please uh, like share and subscribe thank you